Well, certainly uh, we're uh, hoping to hear from some folks tonight if they've been in contact with family members who have been repatriated to Laos. I know that since this began, I've been in contact with uh, Senator Mua and Representative <laughs> I, I call him Sia a lot. And, uh, and part of what we're hoping for tonight is that, they, um, uh, th that we hear from families who have, we hear from people who have family members in, in Laos, right? Right. Well, you know, one of the problems we're having is uh, there's not a lot of communication between the officials, the government officials. Um, and so, you know, part of the conversation tonight is to, because some of these families here in St. Paul are connected to the, some of the families who are, are sent back, and so um, we want to find out whether they're, they're fine and whether they're being treated well. And so part of, part of tonight is, is sharing that, the information coming that way, and the other part is the information going the other way, that these uh, these Hmong Americans who are here tonight want to hear what what I know. I've been in touch with the State Department, and uh, obviously, me and Sai have been in touch with uh, uh, the Hmong American community uh, to hear what they're hearing. So we have a lot to share with the folks that are coming tonight. When, when I said lack lack of information, I meant lack of information from the Lao government mm -hmm. in, in in communicating. To, to this community on, on how that process is being uh, put together and, and, and whether their safety is gonna be guaranteed. Really, that's really is the key. I've been talking, you know, I've been in contact daily with the State Department, so I have uh, stuff to report that I'm hearing from them and they tell me that they have uh, very reliable sources which uh, say that uh, the uh, people who have been repatriated to Thailand or being uh, to Laos are being treated well, that they have food and water and clothing. Uh, but we're, you know, we're very concerned. We're demanding, I'm demanding, uh, and the State Department is transparency, uh, international access, and not just for the sh short term, but for the long term and that the Lao government use resources to repatriate these folks in a, a, a relocate these folks in the, in, a, in the proper way. What I um, look forward to tonight is to, um, to witness the Hmong Minnesota community um, uh, come together with their United States Senator and our congressional delegation that um, um, you know, Senator Franken and the other congressional members uh, want to be the direct, in direct communication with the community about their concerns. And that um, my message tonight um, is, you know, I'm just a state senator, and these type of international issues um, are issues that we have to look to our congressional delegation. And Senator Franken and our congressional members have really stepped up to say, hey, these are our issues, and we are here for the community. You don't need to go through, you know, Senator Moore, Representative Tao, or community members in order to have access to us. We are your representatives, and this is in our job description to assist you with these matters. Um, and I think that, um, for me, that is, um, will be the outcome of the meeting tonight, is to have my United States Senator say, we're dealing directly with each other, and I'm here uh, to, I'm, I've taken on this as, as my job, and I'm doing this because it's part of my job to do this, and I'm here for you. And I think that's going to be a really important message uh, to have the community understand that. This is my job. This is my job. Uh, these are Minnesotans, these are Americans, these are among Minnesotans, among Americans. I, my job is to represent this community and represent them to the State Department, and represent them to the Lao government and the Thai government, and to tell the Lao government that Americans want to know that their families are safe. Americans are demanding transparency. Americans 
Hmong Americans who are Americans who want to make sure that their family members are safe. <laughs> what, what can we expect from tonight? Uh, you know, what we'll come out of tonight's discussion? We're demanding international access to uh, the people who've been repatriated to Laos. And so far, that hasn't been allowed. And the Lao government has not allowed that. And um, I'm making it, going to make it very clear to them and to our State Department, this is a priority for me. And it's a priority for Minnesota. And it's a priority for Amy Klobuchar, who couldn't be here tonight because she's been traveling internationally, uh, that we want international access and we're gonna and and transparency and in the short term and long term and that there are and th this is a priority for us and if Laos receives eighty percent of its budget from the United States and from other countries, other democracies, that we will put it punish bad behavior and reward good behavior. I think that um, the Hmong American families who live in Minnesota mm -hmm. are going to be our partners as we move forward. So after tonight, tomorrow and moving forward, um, the families here have direct communications with their family members there. And um, one of the um, um, one of my hopes as an outcome of this conversation is that um, the families here see Senator Franken's office and that of our congressional members as a place they can go to as they continue conversations with their family members. If there are issues and concerns uh, that um, comes up, maybe not within the next 30 days, because that's not what we're really worried about. We're worried about what's gonna happen 60 days down the road or 90 days down the road or a year down the road. Um, uh, that that there's a place for them to contact to say hey listen I've lost communication with my family members or to call and say hey they're doing fine um, because they're our best partners in how we can help um, uh, give uh, advocacy and voice to what we would like to happen and so um, Senator Franken has stated that he and our congressional delegation are going to ask for our State Department and our government uh, to put the pressure on the Lao government to create transparency, to bring in um, you know, third party observers to monitor the situation. Um, I don't think we've heard any confirmation yet that that's going to happen, and that's what we want to ask for. But I think the community is going to have to help us, to, to, to help us because they can corroborate to us what the law government may be saying. The law government may be saying to us in the future, they're safe, they're happy, we have um, you know, satisfactorily dealt with them. And if that's true, I think our families here can corroborate that and they can say that to us, that, yes, that's happening. But if it's contrary to that and it's not that what it is, well, our families here are direct partners in having that conversation. And I think that tonight, one of the outcomes is that the Senator has expressed that he would like to open that door for that conversation, for the families to know that his office is available for them um, as a way to communicate what is happening uh, back um, in Laos. Is there going to be a, a, a type, you know, answer question type session? Because I know obviously a lot of, a lot of folks who are, you know, have families back and they want to know what's going on and, you know, if there's, you know, anything that... We're, we're going to have that format that people will have a chance to ask questions. Senator Franken had asked the State Department to come to the meeting tonight, and because of weather and, and um, scheduling conflict, of course they couldn't send somebody, but um, he had um, uh, talked with Representative Tao and I um, before this meeting and said, you know, what are some things that the families would like to know if we could get the State Department there?